there are many stories about Pilsner Urquell. Today, we want to tell you how our beer changed the world while staying the same. Last year, 200 million litres of Pilsner Urquell passed through the gates of our brewery. Poured, it is enough to span the globe. But the first step was taken in 1856 by pub owner Josef Schedvi, who bought Pilsner Urquell to Vienna, and Austrians loved it. But no one thought that one day our beer would be exported to more than 60 countries around the world and influence more than 70% of world beer production. In 1859, the Pilsen beer brand was registered to protect our beer against copycats and safeguard the quality. Our coopers are still making wooden beer barrels and vats, so we can brew a small amount of Pilsner Urquell with the same method as Josef Grohl in 1842. It is then used as taste control benchmark for our brewers. We had to protect the taste of our beer during the first overseas shipment to the USA. Our coopers created custom wooden barrels where beer could mature during the long ship voyage. Pilsner Urquell arrived in New York in 1873. Before the Brooklyn Bridge, all Statue of Liberty was built. Soon, our beer was exported even to countries like Jamaica, India or Hawaii, places not known for their beer culture. Today, our beer is not transported in wooden barrels. We use special chilled containers, but inside it is still the same perfect beer. Pilsner Urquell.